Hi guys, Mrs. Eccles here to help you with changing photos that you insert or that already come with your PictoChart template. This can get a little tricky, so stick with me. You may not realize, but on the templates like mine, where it has this kind of background design paintbrush looking thing, that's actually an image. It's not really painted on the template. It's like a photograph and I can change it if I just double click in this area, double click on the photograph. It'll get the black box that lets me know that changes are being made. And this thing will come up, this window will show up. This is sort of like um, Photoshop for PictoChart. It's not really Photoshop, it's made by a different company called Aviary. But you get to see a preview of the image that you're working with and all these different kinds of functions that you can use to change the photograph. I'm going to change the brightness on my photo. So I'm going to click here. And this bar comes up across the top of the window. You can use this bar to move this guy back and forth uh, to change the brightness from lighter to darker. So more bright, less bright. See, the blue line or the blue bar lets you know that I've made it more bright. And then I'm going to click apply. Um, notice that as I, I change the brightness, my preview changed as well. Click apply and it brings you right back to the other editing window. You can keep messing around with your photo, choose one of these other options. You can click right here as well to get more options for how you're going to change the photo, but I'm done. I'm fine with changing just the brightness, so I'm gonna click save. This window comes up. It lets me know very excitedly that my work was saved. So I can either click resume, which means, ooh, I forgot, I wanna go back and change something else, or close, and it takes you back to this. Wait, it look, what? It looks like nothing changed. What did it, huh? It looks exactly the same. And you would be right. All that you did when you edited this was change the photo. You did not put it into your infographic. To do that, you need to click on Uploads in the toolbar right here. And I don't know why, but for some reason it's a ghost on my computer. This is actually my image. See the floating X? I don't know why it looks like that, but it's there. Trust me. You would click it. I'm going to actually, I'm going to click it and drag it to show you. See, there it is. It's so little. But I clicked it and I dragged it and it's here now but it's sitting on top of my template. It doesn't automatically become the background of my template. I need to get rid of this guy first and then I can move my edited photo, my edited image into my template. So to do that, I need to click it and get the black box around it. I moved it so you can see, here's the border of the big image. Um, and once you get the black box, you just have to press backspace and it goes away. See? Now I can move this guy into wherever I want it to go. If I want him to be the big, huge backdrop for this panel, I just need to move it and re and blow it up. It's really hard to see because I made it so bright, so, um, almost white, so now you really can't see it, but you can resize it using the black box and pulling the corners of the black box. And then you need to change its layers. This is a very technical term, but you need to let PictoChart know that you want that image to go forwards or backwards, kind of like you're stacking the images on top of each other. You do that here. See here, it looks like little stacks of paper. This one brings the image to the front. That's where it is right now. See how it's on top of everything? It's over my shape, it's over my words. That is because it is on top, it's on the front. 
This one sends it backwards, so it would go one layer at a time backwards. So if I clicked this button, it would send my image behind the words, because the words are on top right now. If I clicked it again, it would send my image behind this guy, this bar right here, because it's the second layer of this whole template. And if I just kept clicking, 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 it would send it back to the bottom. If you want to just skip it right to the bottom, I want it to be my overall background, you would click here. And if I did that, you would not be able to see it anymore, <laughs> but it would be there, trust me. Um, so that is how you can change that background image. If you want to put in a pie chart or a bar graph, that becomes an image, and then you can put words over your pie chart by um, moving your pie chart forward or backward by using these, these buttons here. So play around with that a little bit on your Picto chart. That's the basics of how to change your, your image on your um, Picto chart infographic. If you have any questions, let me know. And keep an eye out for all the other Picto chart infographic or Picto chart how-tos that I'm gonna be making.